Okay, I'm going to teach you this little riff, this little um, section of uh, something that sounds similar to Blind Blake, Blind Arthur Blake, Blake. And it's the opening section, really, or something close to the opening section of Blind Arthur's Breakdown, which is quite a big piece based on a ragtime blues piece in C, with some interesting little tricks in there, which I'll uh, make a future video of. At the moment, I'm in New Zealand. I'm in somebody's basement. I've got a guitar that I've borrowed, a very cheap one. Um, but I thought that you might like to learn this little section, this little piece. So we're going to use four chords. We start with a C and we do a pretty well standard pick. We start with the bass note on the fifth string. So it's this thing here that makes it interesting. Because we just put the pinky down on the fourth fret. So instead of getting our standard chord, we get this. It's a nice simple pick. I've done the tabs for that. We then change to an E chord and the main feature of this bit is the fact that we do this hammer on and we change it to an E7 by adding down the pinky on the third fret on the uh, second string. So we start with the C. fourth chord we use is an A chord and um, we do this long A, this, which is a very common device used in blues, acoustic blues guitar. So let me move in from the first two chords into that A chord. So from the C, one, two, three, four. Now the fifth string. Now what I'm doing to increase the volume is I'm actually picking the first and second strings. So that this note, the second string, second fret, remains. Now you don't have to do that, you can just play the one string. But if you play both, it's a fuller sound. off with a beat, a bass beat, we then move to a D chord, again I'm going to use the 5th and the 4th as my bass notes, neither of which are fretted, ok so let me move from the top, 1, 2, 3, 4. having a little bit of difficulty because I've injured this hand slightly um, along my thumb joint here so I'm just struggling a little bit but it's uh, and then we move to the final chord which is a G7 now I don't bother to put this middle finger down on the fifth string because we don't use the fifth string at all in this so it makes it easier if you don't have to because it just changes the angle of your hand slightly when you do put it down it makes it a lot easier if you don't put it down so I'm going to hold the sixth string with this ring finger here and use this and this here that there and that there Nice and slowly through each chord. One, two, three, four. with the 
second string open, the fourth string open, and then back into the beginning. Now sometimes you'll notice that I pick a note before the hammer on. So um, I may show that in the tabs, I'll put a little bracket around it. And it just kind of makes it flow along a bit better. Time acoustic blues in C, you can put that little sequence in. That's a C, an E, an A, a D minor, uh, sorry, a D7, and finish with a G7. So if you want to put some variations in and just do some random picking in the right style, it'll sound like this.